Why? We didn't need it. We could have just drilled something in. Well, that's because uh -huh. the politicians were in the oil producers' back pocket especially during the eight years of Bush, mm -hmm. and prior to that, to be fair. And the guy who worked for BP room yeah. with um, Rahm Emanuel. Oh, there we go. Well, you've had 16 years of oil men being presidents. And I've been the father and the son, and you know. That functions beautifully on nothing but wind power. Holland. They've got mm -hmm. it down to a science, but apparently we just thought, you, we don't want to do anything with that. Well, they look beautiful in the movie. But well, they work. I know they work, but... That's not full dependency on it, that there. Well, not full dependency, but 90%. 90%? Good. Well, they're getting... So we get our windmills in. Well, they... Tilting we windmill. We're totally tilting. I thought, I thought the Maui's administration approved a, uh, a wind farm. They uh, did, on the east yeah. uh, east uh, sure. Yeah, on, 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 in the Atlantic. Yeah. But, and I, I think it's, you know, that's certainly a way to go. It's just, it is, uh, it's just And know. nuclear power. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that... Uh, that uh, the fear of it, since you know, what was it, Three Three Mile Island Three was that uh, yeah. and knocked it out. I think that's all. That's Terrible, pretty much subsided. That's all been resolved. Yeah, it's it's especially with China on the horizon. You, you just can't forget. Uh, I mean, as to, in terms of a strategic threat, I oh, mean, I China is is a, it, the most. It's, they're an intellectual threat first. They're they're very smart. Well, they jump right into it. And they're gonna they're gonna jump into the the global market and. There's no reason why. Uh, I guess it's a repressive regime, but hey, I guess maybe there's something to that, huh? <laughs> well, if they, I know they they built their maglev uh, train to, to uh, Shanghai, and we've been talking about a maglev train in the United States of America for yeah. 20 years. Yeah, at least. Spent a billion dollars on it about 10 years ago, and Shanghai decided to do it, and it was done in two years. Built, Jeez. running. Maglev is, is is now servicing Shanghai to the air, airport. Well, they don't have a Congress to deal with. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, and a lot of other bureaucrats. Yeah. Well, pesky little right-of-way problems too. Yeah, it, it may not be a good system, but when it order comes down to headquarters, that's what happens. Yeah, yeah. What they yeah. Paris this year. In Southern Maryland, uh, someone told me that the nuclear plant down there is going to be some addition. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and I, they told me French owned forty percent of that. Oh my, uh, I had no idea. Well, French owned, yeah, they uh, the French owned. Strangely enough, a lot of the major transportation uh, uh, companies in the United States, a company named uh, Viola, right. and they they bought all the all the uh, te taxi cabs in Baltimore City and oh, all the paratransit activity, and they're they're French owned. So, well, if you want to see good transportation, go to France. Okay. <laughs> Oh, have Maybe you been on the ramp. channel? Have you been on the channel? The, the channel. Through the channel. Yeah. No, I've only I've taken the Brittany ferry. You know, okay. Because we go to Brittany, uh -huh. and I don't want to go through that channel. It's easier to take the Brittany ferry. Okay. Well, I assume it's a lot closer, prettier too. To, it's much to, prettier to do that. Yeah. Tax free liquor. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, <laughs> well, that's a the political question. Uh, you you're really not going to give us a guess at who it is, because they're not all filed properly. For county executive? Yeah, county uh, executive particular. Who, who do you expect? I expect it's going to be Michael Jackson. Do you really? Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, won, he's won four times yeah. countywide. Similar to the Jack Johnson phenomena. Right. Uh, he, uh, when you're on, on the ballot with regularity, people, at least they, they well, kind Baker's of know your name. Well, Baker's been on the ballot with regularity, yeah. except he lost. Yeah, he keeps <laughs> having the, the wrong result. But, uh, and I think, a lot of prominent political people are supporting Baker uh, that I've mm -hmm. heard of. A lot of the uh, former administration's, uh, you know, Wayne's uh, people yeah. are supporting. Wayne Curry? Sure. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if Wayne's actually got a thumbprint on the race or not, but I know his people that served in his administration are, are supporting Baker. Mm -hmm. I just think Baker's doing the, the, the retail, I'm sorry, I think uh, Michael Jackson's doing the, uh, the retail kind of politics that well, Baker it's really hard to a do. horrible campaign. He has run a horrible campaigns ever since I've watched him run. Well, I tell you, and, and I, 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 kinda, I like Mike just yeah. per personally. What I caught him doing something yesterday that was really, I'm um, sorry, at the parade, which was really kind of neat. Kind of like to watch these guys clinically and see how they work. There's mm -hmm. the stare-eyed glaze yeah. candidate that just kind of grabs your hand and moves. Yeah. And then there's, everyone has a style. But yeah. it all it all boils down to how much are you willing to Take your time and listen to somebody. Let them become a part of what you're saying. Yeah. Well, and it's 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 kind of fun to watch. So anyway, 
Terry and Mickey Devaney were sitting there doing their thing, and uh, you know, ter Terry sitting there being the you know the being king, Terry, the king of Bowie. Yeah, you know, right. We'll do it. It's like <laughs> then this uh, light gal was sitting next to, to to Terry, who was a little bit older, and Mike made a, a point of stopping. And y'all's age are tugging them and all this kind of yeah. stuff. And that's what they're supposed to do. But he took time to sit there, talk to her, hold her hand, and not just mm -hmm. do, do the blow off. And yeah. know, I don't hope she remembers who he is, but but it's it, that kind of retail politics is it's refreshing to see it. Oh, it is. I agree. It is. It's very, I mean, Steny's is good at it. Steny is excellent. He'll at sit it. there and he'll, yeah. he'll watch you and he'll mm -hmm. pay attention, at least concentrate. If he's trying to think about, the, you know, running the rest of the world but while he's doing it, but at least he's. He's putting the time in to give, give you some time, and, it's, and that, that, that's a nice skill. It's a work in the room skill you have to you be good at. And you're absolutely right, and I've talked to, I see a lot of people that shake hands in a bench, you know, a chamber meeting, or whatever, and they're looking over your shoulder for the next person. Mm -hmm. And that is, it just turns me off. Oh, yeah. They're what terrible. I always like is the technique where they grab your hand, right? Right. Yeah. And then they put their hand be behind yeah. your, elbow yeah and it's kind of like this motion <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah it's like okay where's the next one yeah. <laughs> certainly but seen that over the years i, I think mike's michael win the primary once you win the primary it's over it's over uh and um, i the council is you've got four are going to come back uh they should all get you know i haven't heard it you can't beat somebody with nobody yeah. but eric's going to be back eric olson and Turner from Bowie and uh, Harrison. Turner won the last election by 50 votes. Why somebody isn't challenging her absolutely It's a, it's a good job now. It mm -hmm. earns like $100,000 yeah, sure. a year. Yeah, sure. And, and she hands just, out all these little grants right, to everybody. Right. I mean, it's just for you. and Your staff is another 100000 plus. Doug Peters has a staff of one full-time, one half-time. She's got a staff, all the, all of the county people, mm -hmm. staff of five. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to cut costs. Right. We haven't discussed this one. What about the, uh, from our district, the legislative race? What do you think of that? The, which, which? I'm well, sorry, we got to Hubbard. Oh. You know, well, Doug Peters it will be well, probably right against Billy Henry, Bobby Henry. Oh, we're seeing the previous. Well, Levi's oh. getting out, right? She, she's Levi fine. left the, she's running for county executive. Which might be a sleeper. I mean, she it is a female. Be. She's the only female in the race to, at this point. Uh, yeah, maybe. And, you know, it's a female vote. Is cer certainly a factor. We have uh, Geraldine Valentino Smith, who's a dynamo. She's running. You know, but, Hubbard is all got a tizzy over that. You know, he figures he might disappear down to uh, a lesser level. But mm -hmm. perhaps if he spent more time in Bowie, he uh, mm -hmm. might be better known. <laughs> she the only declared. That's it. I don't know who who else. There are two names that I keep hearing, but they haven't filed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was uh, one other a woman. I remember reading some blurb in the paper. Two about other women, I think. Two other. Well, you're absolutely right. That's almost what race is. Oh, and then of course is Melvin Holmes from 23B. Nobody right. probably run against him. I don't no. know. I haven't seen it. So far, there's no one. I haven't heard anything. But uh, Geraldine is the only one that I know of. Is yeah, it's filed. Yeah, right. But how about this? Um, and Hubbard filed, I think. Did it, yeah, I'm sure it did. And exactly back to that again. Mm -hmm. uh, is Dean going to jump in there? Yes, he's running for county exec. I know, but he, he said says, he, was, he says he, he's a candidate. Uh, you know, they can't all they can't all run and win. That's not. Yeah. Gonna, I, I just mm -hmm. he's. Uh, well, that's a scary uh, thought. Him as county executive, Whew, I'd move faster than I plan to. I think you got you got you got Dean. You got uh, Tony Knotts. You got yeah, Levi, Tony Knotts. You got uh, Jackson and Baker. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's pretty crowded. Uh, it's very crowded. and uh, Jerome. Jerome. You're right. Right. And that, that's where I wondered about the same thing you did. Uh, after you say Jackson would be the person, I really believe if they, be, if they all get out there and work, they're going to bring some votes in, in for their count. Uh, a woman, she might very well have a shot at it. It's yeah. a possibility, and uh, Camille's a, an aggressive campaigner. I don't know her real well, but I know she's, uh, you know, win the state championship as a point guard for Suitland uh, in <laughs> high school. That's some kind of, uh, you know, moxie. Gee, that's a great political qualification. Well, <laughs> just for me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's hard to, it's, well, it's, it's, we have our good, good mayor, our good uh, yeah. governor, uh, pay, uh, governor Palin was a point guard too, so what the heck. <laughs> that's true. Well, she yeah. was even a sports writer. 